3M Tegaderm Chlorhexidine Gluconate IV Securement Dressings are an all-in-one antimicrobial transparent film dressing. They are available in many sizes to meet the varied requirements of central venous catheter sites. This video will demonstrate catalog number 1658 applied to a peripherally inserted central catheter. Before applying the dressing, ensure that the gel pad will be able to be centered over the catheter insertion site on dry, healthy skin. Prepare the site according to your facility's protocol. Clipping hair at the site may improve dressing adhesion, but shaving is not recommended as it may create small abrasions on the skin which could lead to complications. Allow all antiseptics and skin protectants to dry completely before applying Tegaderm CHG dressing to ensure good adhesion and prevent skin irritation. Using a septic technique, open the Tegaderm CHG package and remove the dressing. Peel the liner from the dressing, exposing the adhesive surface. Flip over the dressing so the adhesive faces the skin. Center the CHG gel pad over the catheter insertion site and smooth down the dressing edge. Do not stretch the dressing at application to the skin. Simply drape the dressing onto the site to avoid unnecessary force on the skin. Apply firm pressure to the entire dressing before and during removal of the paper frame in order to enhance adhesion. Slowly remove the paper frame while continuing to smooth down the outer edges of the transparent adhesive dressing. Smooth the Tegaderm CHG dressing from the center toward the edges using firm but gentle pressure. The adhesive is pressure sensitive, so pressing into the contours of the site will greatly enhance adhesion. Apply the large notched securement tape strip with the notch oriented back toward the catheter site, under the tubing, and overlapped back onto the securement border. Then apply label strip over the tubing exit site. The Tegaderm CHG dressing should be changed every seven days or according to your facility's established protocol or when the dressing becomes loose or soiled, the gel pad is saturated or in cases where there is swelling, visible drainage or lost visibility. To properly monitor the gel pad, test the saturation of the dressing by lightly pressing down on the gel pad corner with your finger. When you remove your finger, if the gel pad remains displaced, the dressing should be changed. Remove the dressings in the direction from the extension tubing or needleless connectors toward the catheter insertion site. Gently grasp an edge of the dressing and slowly peel the dressing from the skin, supporting the skin and catheter to minimize dislodgement. Keep removal low and slow. Do not pull the dressing straight up from the skin. When the CHG gel pad is exposed, grasp a corner of the gel pad and the transparent film dressing between thumb and finger. While there is no adhesive in the gel pad, it does conform to the catheter insertion site over time and may be difficult to remove. To facilitate removal, apply moisture to the gel pad, making it temporarily slippery. Using an alcohol swab, sterile saline, sterile water, or an alcohol-based skin antiseptic, apply the moisture to the gel pad at removal in a back and forth manner while peeling the dressing off the skin. Then, continue the low and slow removal method until the dressing is completely removed. This concludes the overview of placement, monitoring, and removal of the 3M Tegaderm CHG dressing on a PIC IV site.